guys, it's Regine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these three trendy summer tops and the first one we have here, the tube top. The first step is to take the measurement. I am marking mine at 26 cm and this will be the length of my top and 105 cm for the width of the top. You can make yours shorter or longer. Double fold the edges and pin them. Do this on the top and bottom edges. And sew with straight stitch. I am now changing from the normal thread to the elastic one. I placed my first stitch 1 cm from the edge. Sewing with elastic thread, Make sure to place the fabric right side up. Bottom part of the top, I am putting a mark at one and a half inch from the edge. Using the elastic thread, sew where the mark is. From the mark, I measure another 1 cm distance and sew again. I made about 6 stitches with 1 cm distance. After that, I just made a straight stitch connecting both side edges. Then, I also sew it with zigzag stitch to protect the fabric from unraveling. tube top. It is very trendy and comfy. You can pair this top with a high-waisted denim shorts or a skirt. I love the color blue. It reminds me of the ocean. I will definitely wear this when I visit the beach. For the second top, we have here the ruffle crop top. First step is to fold the fabric right side together and pin them. The width should be 22 inches or longer. If you have a bigger bust, make sure to increase the measurement. For the length of the top, I am marking at 11 inches. Again, you can make yours longer. edges leaving 3 to 4 inches so you can turn the fabric later. Turn the fabric right side out and sew the gap with straight stitch. fabric so it will look better. Sew a straight stitch 1.5 inch from the top. Then from that, go ahead about an inch and sew another straight line. straight line about 1.5 inch from the edge of the fabric and then from that go about 1 inch and sew another straight stitch. To make an opening for the lace, rip the stitches in between the two seams. Do this on all four sides. I am marking at 4 cm. The lace should be very long. Mine is 150 inches. The 
double fold the lace to hide the raw edges and then pin them and then sew with straight stitch. Use a safety pin to loop the lace to the upper hole making sure both sides have the same lace length. Then from the left side, loop the lace to the left bottom hole and do the same on the right side. Gather the fabric to the center to create a ruffle. So here is the ruffle crop top. I love the ruffle on the front and very sexy back. This is really perfect for the hot weather this summer. shoulder crop top. The length for this top is 11 inches and the width is 42 inches. The same as the first one, double fold the upper and lower edges and sew with straight stitch. From the top, I go ahead and mark at 1 inch and sew with elastic band. It should create a pretty ruffle like this. Now, I am changing again from the normal thread to the elastic one. stitch one centimeter from the bottom part of the top then I made another line one centimeter from the first I made about seven inches with one centimeter distance sew the edges with straight stitch and zigzag stitch for a clean finish sleeves I made two rectangles with 26 cm length by 50 cm width. Sew all the edges with zigzag stitch then fold once and sew with straight stitch. thread again, I sew a straight line 1 inch from the top and the bottom edges. Then sew the side edges with straight and zigzag stitch. Attach the sleeves to the main body piece. And voila! Here's your off-shoulder crop top. I love the color and the style. Plug prints are very in this season. Who would have thought that I just made this top, right? Thank you for watching.
watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!